I've got the Makeup Forever 15 Artist Shadow Palette to share with you guys today. I purchased this off of the Sephora website. I'm not sure where else it's going to be available or if it's a Sephora exclusive or not. But um, this has got 15 of the Makeup Forever Artist shadows in it. And each shadow is 0 0.06 ounces a piece. The entire palette was $59. And a single Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadow is $21. And it's, it's only 0 0.01 ounce more. Like the full size singles are 0 0.07 ounce. So this is a really good deal for the money. Inside the box it does come with a little pamphlet with some looks inside and a little bit of detail about the palette. And then here's the actual palette. It's really pretty. This outside has kind of got a glitter feel to it but it's not glitter that's going to fall off on your hands. So it's it's quite nice and the cardboard is um, substantial. It's like the cardboard from the Artist 1 and the Artist 2 palettes. It's a really nice substantial cardboard packaging. It's got a nice weight to it and you do have a mirror inside of there. It doesn't prop itself up so you'd have to hold it if you were to use it. And then inside of here are your eyeshadows. Now I'd gotten quite a bit of inquiry when I posted a picture of this on Instagram um, which ones were repeat shades and stuff from older palettes like the Artist 1, the Artist 2, last year's Christmas palette and then the Make Makeup Forever uh, 50 Shades of Grey set. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I come up with for repeats out of those sets and then like show you side by side comparisons as well. I did do a look with these shadows which is what is on my eyes right now and it will be towards the end of the video if you want to see kind of how these perform for me. But I absolutely love the Artist formula. Um, I've used all the finishes and I love them all. I did have minimal fallout. Um, I'm not sure which shade was the culprit because it was when I was blending where I got a tiny bit of fallout but it wasn't terrible at all and it brushed right off my face. And these shadows they just continually build and blend and build and blend and they're highly pigmented they're just a really really great shadow um one thing i will no note um that i've mentioned in the past is the shadows can do some type of pilling where when you put your brush in there that kind of the, because of the formulation of these there's so much primer type ingredients in here like dimethicone silicones and stuff like that that it can kind of pill and stick to each stick to itself where the only way that i find that to be a problem is when i'm picking up product but it doesn't ever hinder the performance of the actual eyeshadows on the eye um, so I still, I just look past any pilling that I get on a couple of these shadows because I love how they perform so much. This particular palette does not have any of the matte finishes in it. They're all satin, metallic, diamond, or iridescent finishes in here, which is what the M, M, E, S, I, and D stand for. <laughs> Another thing I really like about this particular formula is you could take um, a really dark color and you can fade it into a really light color and create a mid-tone color. They blend together so nice. So I've went ahead and zoomed in here and I'm going to read off the shades to you guys. This one is I550. This one's I524. I916. D236. S102. And you've got S522. D826, D830, S228, S114, I528, I662, I922, ME216, and ME122. Um, the shades in here that are repeat shades from last year's holiday set where they were little tiny, the little tiny shadows that kind of came in that uh, case are I524, which is um, this guy right here. This is I524, which is a repeat from the holiday set. D236, which is this shade right here. ME122, which is this guy down here. And then the last repeat from last year's holiday set is D826, which is this guy right here is a repeat from last year's holiday set. I just have the little ones in this palette over here. So those are the repeats from last year's holiday palette. I didn't find any repeats from the quad that came in the Fifty Shades of Grey set. I didn't find any repeats that came in the Makeup Forever Artist 2 set, but I did find two shadows that are repeats from the Artist 1, and that's I-528, which would be this one right here, and S-102, which is this one up here. So this one and that one are both repeats from the Artist 1 set. So here's the Artist 1, the smaller one, and then here's your newer one. So two repeats between those two right there. 
And then if you guys can see the um, numbers on there, here's the Artist 1 and here's the 15 Artist Palette. And then here's the 15 Artist Palette next to the Artist 2 set from Makeup Forever. And I didn't find any repeats between these two palettes. Those purples are awfully similar, but one is 924 and the other is 922. <laughs> so, so there's the shades, the 15 shades on top and then the um, Artist 2 on the bottom. Hopefully I got that all correct but if not hopefully you can see it <laughs> now let me go ahead and give you guys swatches by three again there are no mattes in this palette these are just I love I love these shadows I just love them <laughs> and then this next row which these are actually kind of set up in rows like as far as looks are concerned here like this way to do looks out of them but here's that row. Hmm, the center row. These pretty blues. And then the last row here. This is one of my top palettes for the holiday season. Um, as far as the price is concerned and the amount of product that you're getting, this is a heck of a deal for your money. I've had, I've always had really good luck with the new Makeup Forever Artist Folder. I suppose they're not new now, but the Artist Shadows, they're some of my favorite shadows out there. They continuously blend and build. They fade out pretty. They're just a nice, nice eyeshadow. And this is totally on par with the quality of the singles as well. Um, again, it's a, it's a good thing too that there's only two repeats in here from the Artist 1 and 2 palettes. So if you have either the artist one or two you're going to get two repeats from the neutral palette in here which I mean still it's still a good value for your money so if you're interested in seeing how these eyeshadows performed and the look that's on my eyes right now you can hang tight and we will get into it right now I already primed my lids from the lash line to up underneath the brow with the NYX eyeshadow bases yet again in the shades number one mixed with number three. Using a gloss number 18 brush, which is a flat shader, I'm going to dip into this shade right here, which is called I662. I'm going to pack that on the lid. I'm like always drawn to the, the burgundy looking portion <laughs> right away, probably because it's kind of getting chilly out. <laughs> I'm going to pack this on the lid. Using the side of that same brush, I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is the shade I524. I'm going to put that right in front of that, like, goldy bronze. I was initially going to use this burgundy shade, but I think I'm going to use this color right here, which is like a blue. It's number S228. Let's do that and see how it goes. <laughs> I'm going to pack this on the outer corner and kind of bring it upwards through the crease like... As per usual, put it right there. Oh my gosh, this color is beautiful. That does not, that is much prettier on than it looks in here. I'm going to take a Goss number 3 brush and go into this shade right here, which is S522. I'm going to put that in the um, space where there's no shadow yet, um, underneath the brow. I'm 
Then using a Goss 19 brush, I'm going to go into this shade, which is I550. And I'm going to put this in the crease. I kind of wish that this was matte, but there aren't actually any matte shades in this palette. So we'll just go with it. Yeah, I kind of wish that was matte, but that's all right. And then blend this with the three up here. Then what I'm going to do is go back in with that Chikahoto GSN 9, and I'm not going to pick up any more product, but I'm going to blend this up into that other color. I've got just a little bit of fallout here. I'm trying to decide if I should just leave it or if I should add a little bit of black in the crease. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna. Just a little bit of black. I'm gonna use that same GSA Dine brush and go into this shade right here, which is not the matte black. This is S102, so it's a, the satin black. And just put a little bit of this through here. There's the eyeshadow done. I, I love it. I love the Makeup Forever eyeshadows. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my brows and liner and mascara and I'll be back to put on some lips for you guys. For lips I've got Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in the shade Pink Venus. I really can't get enough of these Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and line it and kind of fade it in. And then to fill them in, I've got one of the Makeup Forever Rouged Artist Natural Lipsticks, and this is in the shade N52. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill my lips in with this. So there's the overall finished look using the Makeup Forever 15 artist shadow palette. <laughs> um, I really enjoy how this turned out. It was pretty easy to create as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.